Security is a complicated topic, especially on a platform as large as Amazon Web Services. Protecting your AWS account is the first line of defense when protecting your AWS infrastructure, and today we're going to talk about three ways to do that. I'm Phil Zona, and this is Cloud Tips by Linux Academy. First of all, you want to protect your root account credentials, because think about it. Your root account has unlimited access to your resources, so if this account gets compromised, the results could be disastrous. What you want to do is make sure that you're using a secure password, enabling multi-factor authentication, and that you're not using this account on a daily basis for everyday tasks like creating new servers or creating databases. So again, tip number one, protect your root account credentials. So next up, you're not logging in as root, so how are you managing your infrastructure? Well, tip number two, use IAM users for your everyday tasks. IAM, or Identity and Access Management, is an AWS service that allows you to manage users, groups, permissions for people and services that are accessing your resources. So on your own personal account, you might just have a single IAM user that has administrative but not unlimited privileges. On a multi-user account, like let's say for your company, you might have different groups and users with different permissions depending on each person's job function. So again, tip number two, use IAM users for everyday administrative tasks. Real quick, before we move on to our final tip for today, I just wanna mention that we teach courses on these topics at Linux Academy. You can check out our AWS Security Essentials course and our AWS Security Basics Challenge. So if you're ready to dive in and start learning, head over to linuxacademy.com and check those out. So now to move on to our final tip for today. Finally, our third tip for securing your AWS account is to enable CloudTrail. CloudTrail is a service that allows you to see every single API call made by every single user on your account, and it is crucial when you're looking at which permissions you should have and which permissions you shouldn't have. And when you have that kind of visibility, you can adjust permissions and be more proactive about securing your account in the future. So again, third tip is to enable CloudTrail logging. So these have been our three keys to AWS account security. Of course, this is just a starting point. There's a lot more to security than this. So make sure that you subscribe to our channel for more tips, tricks, how-tos, and guides. Again, I'm Phil Zona. This has been Cloud Tips by Linux Academy.